Hello, um, I'm E.P. Jenkins. I'm a poet and a teacher um, and I currently live in Kent. Um, my work um, revolves around interrogating form and mucking about with um, traditional poetics and seeing what I can make with them. I am definitely someone who doubts themselves constantly. I used to think I couldn't be a poet because well, I'm dyslexic and I have no rhythm at all. So I thought, well, I can't write sonnets. <laughs> I can't even spell. Um, but you know, spell check is a wonderful thing and sonnets are not the be all and end all. They're great, but they're not always necessary. So um, self-doubt and convincing myself that I couldn't be a writer was one of the biggest drawbacks. But something that really helped me um, as a new writer demystify writing and help me get into it and something that I would definitely advise other new writers to do is um, try and get involved in responding to something physically in your work. My viewpoints really changed when um, my then tutor, when I was doing my master's degree, a um, wonderful poet called Riddell Olson, introduced me to site-specific writing. So this entails going to a location, um, writing with it, writing through it, writing in it, and it being the basis of your work, um, even to the point where you could physically write with the with the objects that you find there. That's definitely something that I find really inspiring and it's something that um, I think can help a lot of people generate work. The big thing to remember is it doesn't really matter what it's about. I think this is especially true with poetry. It doesn't matter what it's about and I used to get really bogged down in what is this about? Is this is this about trauma? Is this about my life? Is this about being a woman, is this about being a disabled person, a disabled woman, which I am, it doesn't really matter. Who you are will shine through your work. So my process always starts with something quite physical. I like to weave things, make things, respond to physical things, physical locations. I also like to investigate and use folklore, medical history and um, materiality of text. So I work a lot with textile production and its relationship to language and uh, whether we can map textile production onto poetic production. Um, something that I've been using a lot recently are these things here. Um, this is something that I could say is essential to my writing. They are, this is a shuttle and this is a comb and these are tools used in weaving. And if you look closely, you can see they are covered in ink. Um, because I had the bright idea to try and use them <laughs> as as writing tools. I like to work with found text, so a good rich um, bedrock of, of, of beautiful language and words I can work from. I would take articles or maybe I would take folk tales and deconstruct them. Something that I do quite often is make um, something called Witch's Ladders, which um, was a, a folk practice that um, you take items and weave them into a a chord and I take words that I've cut out from pieces of paper and weave them into chords and make poetry from that. So those are the things that I like to start with. Research, found text and then a physical experience of how to write and, and writing and that really helps me inform my, my text.